Senate President Coco Pimentel says the ruling PDP Laban is considering musician Freddy Aguilar as one of its senatorial candidates in 2019. But the PDP Laban president says nothing is final due to the overflow of candidates. Aguilar, a supporter of President Rodrigo Duterte, earlier claimed the president wanted to appoint him commissioner of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. But the NCCA board chose Virgilio Almario, National Artist for Literature in 2003, to be chairman. The ruling party is also eyeing broadcast journalist Jiggy Manikad as senatorial candidate. Pimentel says Manikad has already sworn allegiance to PDP Laban. Others being considered for the PDP Laban senatorial slate are the following. Re-election as Senators J.V. Ejercito, Cynthia Villar, Nancy Binay, Sonny Angara, and Grace Poe. Representatives Ace Barbers, Albi Benitez, Carlo Nograles, Zajid Mangudadatu, Geraldine Roman, Reynaldo Omali, and Pia Cayetano. Special Assistant to the President Bongo, Presidential Spokesman Harry Roque, Presidential Political Advisor Francis Tolentino, Communications Assistant Secretary Moka Ugson, and former Interior Secretary Rafi Alunan. President Rodrigo Duterte lauds former Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa on his retirement Thursday. Duterte says De La Rosa achieved unprecedented accomplishments as police chief. Citing the PNP's own data, Duterte says De La Rosa was able to bring down crime by 22% nationwide and increase the crime solution efficiency of the police by 10% compared to the preceding 20-month period before he assumed office. Duterte also praises De La Rosa's term as the first to implement his flagship anti-drug campaign, which tallied 130,000 arrests and 1.2 million surrenders of drug suspects. But the president doesn't mention homicide cases increased by a double-digit percentage despite the drop in crimes nationwide. Duterte is also silent over the 4,000 drug suspects shot dead in police operations. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency counts 4,075 drug suspects slain by authorities in the campaign to eradicate illegal drugs in the Philippines. But human rights groups say the total number of deaths amount to more than 12,000. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas announces an average inflation rate of 3.8% for the first quarter of 2018, the highest quarterly average since 2014. The BSP attributes this to the tax reform law, higher oil prices, a weaker peso, and the tightening of United States monetary policy. Inflation for the January to March period this year is faster than the 3% average inflation in the fourth quarter of 2017, and the 3.2% average inflation in the first quarter of 2017. It also neared the upper end of the BSP's initial target of between 2% and 4% for this year. The latest inflation rate is based on the Philippine Statistics Authority rebasing the inflation index at 2012 prices from the previous series using 2006 prices. If the 2006 base year will be used, average inflation for the first quarter of 2018 would be 4.4%, well above the BSP target. The PSA's move was part of the protocol of statistical rebasing, which is done every six years. Music